Hello everyone, thank you for watching the video from joyfair.com. Today I would like to show you how to use an UV visible spectrophotometer. The model of the machine we are using in this video is M4S, a spectrophotometer with scan function. Firstly, let me introduce the components to you. Here we have a main machine, two cuvettes, a cell holder, a power cable. When we take the cuvette, we should hold the frost inside. Put the cell holder into the machine. Connect the machine to the power and turn on the machine by pressing the power button at the back of the machine. You can see the machine is in self-checking. Please do not open sample chamber when initializing. Uh, we will come to system setting. Here we have two tabs, system setting and time setting. Tuxton lamp working status, deuterium lamp working status. Press on to turn on the lamp and press off to turn off the lamp. Wavelength modification. The wavelength can be corrected by you. Correction value. Mirror the standard value. The correction range is plus or minus 0 0.5 and nanometer. Press blank box to enter the wavelength you want. Language selection. By pressing this button, you can set the language you need. We provide Chinese, English, and Spanish. Time setting. Here you can set the time as you need, like year, month, etc. First the measurement is photometry measurement, which is the easiest one. Press the blank box beside wavelengths and there is a keyboard popping out. Enter the wavelength you know, and then you can see the data. The range of the machine is from 190 to 1100 nanometer. If the input value is not appropriate for the instrument parameter, the display will show out of range to indicate raw input. The input a correct value. By pressing T or ABS, you can exchange transmitters to absorbance. You can calculate the concentration of your analogy. Press print button to print the result. Very easy for you to record the result. By pressing spectrum measurement button, move to the second measurement. You can see the functions are much more complex than the first one. Uh, there are four tabs, parameter setting, curve display, PNV display, and file list. Let's come to the first tab. Here are three measurement modes for you to choose, and we choose model T as example. F press the black box beside scan range. Enter the wavelength range you need. Press the black box beside data and enter what you need. There are three types, types of speed, fast, medium, and slow. We will choose medium. There are five interval options. Let me choose one. You can set scanning times according to different requirements. Click the input box after scanning times. 
and input 1, 2, 3. I will enter 1. Press test. The screen will move to the second tab. The testing process will be shown in curved display. Press stop to stop the testing. And the final result can be seen in PNV display. All the results will be recorded in file list. Press print to print the result. The third method, quantitative measurement. Here we have five texts. Parameter setting, K coefficient method, single point calibration, multi point calibration, and file list. Let's come to parameter setting. Enter the value in the input box on the right of the measurement wavelengths. The instrument will automatically set the wavelengths to the value you enter. There are 8 measurement units and 3 measurement methods for you to choose. Different measurement methods need different values in the blank box at the bottom. If you choose K coefficient method, you need to enter K and B value. You can see the result in tab 2. If you choose single point method, you need to enter concentration. You can see the result in tab 3. If you choose a multi-point method, you need, you need to enter calibration point. You can see the result in tab 4. All the results are recorded in BioList. The next one is kinetic analysis. We can see how the concentration trade changes over time in this measurement. In this measurement, you can test the absorbance values of the same sample at different wavelengths. Press black box here to set wavelengths and the number of the sample QVAP. Then enter wavelength values from small to large. Next, get a reference sample which is put in shareholder R position and test the sample in the matched quotas QVAPs and place them separately on the shareholder S1, S2 and S3. Press Auto 0 when the sample QVAP is in shareholder R position. 